Rich Rugby. Hey guys, and welcome back to Rich Rugby. And it's been a while, but I am back. And I'd like to thank my new subscribers, Infanello and Canini, fellow T, and Chris Hersonman. Thank you guys. Keep those subs coming. So, the last couple of weeks in my head, I've had the quote four more years, boys, four more years. Thank you, George Gregan. And speaking of four more years and thinking of uh, George Gregan in particular, Let's talk about the Rugby World Cup in 2027 in Australia. So the format has changed. There is now 24 teams uh, that will qualify for the tournament. Uh, the competition window has been reduced from seven weeks to six weeks. And they are, World Rugby are also looking at introducing a round of 16, which will effectively move the knockout phase one step back. So um, what do I think about this? Uh, not a fan of the six-week window. In fact, the six-week window was originally um, postulated for the 2023 World Cup. However, it was expanded to seven weeks. Why? Player welfare. So there is absolutely no difference in the 2027 World Cup. The top two teams are still going to have to play seven matches and in six weeks. And if World Rugby is uh, concerned about player welfare, they're concerned about uh, injuries, they're concerned about fatigue, then I suggest expanding back to that seven-week window. I know it's going to cost a bit uh, a bit more, but um, player safety and player welfare is paramount here. Let's deal with the next thing, 24 teams. Why? So that the USA can qualify this time. And what they need to qualify because they need World Cup experience because they're going to be hosting the World Cup in 2031. So they need to qualify for 2027. Now, this puts us at a little bit of a mathematical dilemma because we've expanded to 24 teams. When we had 20 teams, nice and easy, four pools of five, top two go through to the quarterfinals, eight teams, nice and easy. Now that we've got 24 teams, it gets a little bit more difficult. So what World Rugby are looking at is the round of 16, which will mean that the top two in each of the six pools go through. Uh, which is 12, and then the other four will be the top four um, from each of the six six pools, which will obviously be determined by points. I'm not a big fan of this format, and I'm not a big fan of the round of 16. I know that they've copied this from the Football World Cup, but football is different to rugby, and I can see there's going to be quite a few upsets in the round of 16. Teams that should, should be getting through into the quarterfinals may not get through. Um, smaller teams, you know, less less likely teams are potentially going to make those quarterfinal spots. And then what you're going to have is very, very one-sided quarterfinals. You might argue that it's good for the smaller nations, good for the smaller teams, but I would rather have the rugby spectacle having the best teams going through to the quarterfinals. And it doesn't necessarily mean the top eight. It means the top eight at the time. So... How would I fix this? Well, I have thought about this long and hard over many, many days, as well as the four more years quote from George Gregan, and I have come up with a solution to this, and I will tell you in my next video. Sure. LTS, like, comment, subscribe.